Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I am back with three more cards using the Spillbinders Large Die Kit for the month of August. And this time I'm going to be using the pencil, pen, and scissors dies to create some really cute little um, simple mini cards for you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put everything together here. As usual, I'm using my art glitter glue. And I have just lately been using the pin that goes in the uh, cap to my art glitter glue to keep it closed to sort of pick things up and place them down. I'm, I'm having a lot of luck with that. There's a little bit of glue left on it. Uh, but one of these days I may indulge in one of those uh, crystal katanas that I keep hearing such good things about. Uh, so while I'm doing this, I'll let you know the uh, cardstock that I'm using. So from MFT, I've got Biscotti, Black Licorice, Poppy, Lemon Drop, After Midnight, and Field Day. And then from Paper Tray Ink, I'm also using Lemon Tart and Tropical Teal. So now that I have everything placed together, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting together my cards. And I'm gonna keep all of these a very similar design. I went to my Cricut and created some little sticky notes using some uh, lemon tart cardstock. And I cut those to two inches square. And then I found a pun that worked for uh, each of the different things that the pencil, the pen, and the scissors, you guys, if you've been following me for any time, know that I absolutely love a pun. So I went ahead and wrote that out and trimmed out these little sticky notes. Um, and the script that I used for that is called Gardenia Script. So for this one, I'm using You're All Right, and I'll just add a little bit of glue to the back of that, and then I'm going to place that paper clip around it so it looks like it's stuck on that sheet of paper. And this background here is the sort of paper piece that was included with the die set. So I've got to go ahead and glue that down. And then with my Cricut, I just made a matching rectangle there. Uh, these measure three and a half by four inches. And for the inside, I use that same gardenia script to write out, have a great day. And these are smaller cards than usual. I just trimmed my card base to match that rectangle. So the actual card stock is cut to seven and a half inches by four and a quarter. And then I scored that in the center at three and three quarters to create my card base. And that's gonna complete card number one. For card number two, I'm doing the same thing, just flipping the design up just a little bit. I'm gonna again pop this pen up using some of my sticky thumb foam dots and I'm gonna place that along the bottom of my piece of paper. And then for this sticky note, I went with your stupendous. And 
And I'll go ahead and glue that down and then add the paper clip, just switching sides on this one. I did a little switch there. I had planned on placing this down on top of that uh, tropical teal card base, but as I lined it up, it was just too much teal. I wanted to get a little bit more of that navy blue accent off of the pen, so I created a different card base out of After Midnight from MFT. Again, placing everything down with my ATG, and that will complete card number two. For card number three, I've got the scissors here, and uh, my pun is looking sharp. Just again, flipping things around, the same basic design, just uh, moving the elements in a different way. My scissors, I did connect with a mini brad from American Crafts, so that way they do move. But of course, once I get the foam dots and everything down, uh, they're going to be glued in place on the front here. Again, placing down my sticky note. Adding my paper clip. And then I'll place both these panels down on my card base with my ATG. And that will complete card number three. As always, here are a few close-ups of the finished cards. In the description box below, you'll find my blog post, which has additional photos and links to the supplies I used. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.